I just want to start off with the positives because you did indeed raise your outlook for the year. It seems like there has been some positives as far as your drug making business is concerned. So talk us through some of the highlights there. Good morning. Thanks for having me. As a matter of fact, we had a very strong second quarter. It was actually not so much driven by our drugs business. Um, the key growth driver in this second quarter was actually our hospitals business and there in particular um, in Spain. Now, mind you, uh, we've had a particularly weak uh, Q2 20, full lockdown uh, in Spain, hardly any uh, elective surgery and therefore uh, an undemanding comp to beat. Um, but that regardless, um, we have seen pent up demand. We have also seen in all likelihood a bit of market share gain. And therefore, in particular, when it comes to our, our Helios hospital business, we're very pleased. Uh, as far as our drugs business is concerned, strong performance, in particular in the emerging markets, China stands out uh, also there. Uh, I have nothing to complain about. Okay, uh, well, uh, thanks for setting the scene for us on, on some of the highlights and, and why you raised your outlook for the year. But I do want to ask you about how you're thinking about the evolving COVID-19 situation, the emergence of the Delta variant, other variants as well. What is your prognosis for the second half of the year in terms of how these new strains of the virus could evolve? Unfortunately, at the very least, we're seeing a higher degree of uncertainty than what we had originally anticipated. We were firmly banking uh, on receding COVID impacts in the second half, and now uh, that appears a bit less certain. Yes, we're seeing uh, various mutations, in particular the Delta variant. What we're also concerned about is stalling progress on the vaccination front. Um, and therefore, what uh, hurts us most uh, this year, as far as group earnings growth is concerned, is the excess mortality among our dialysis patients, not only, but uh, in particular in the United States. Um, and there we are concerned uh, that this may drag on a little longer into the second half. Well, on that point, um, clearly the pandemic has been a big burden for your subsidiary FMC, the dialysis specialist. And today they reiterated their guidance for the year, but many analysts had been hoping the situation would have improved enough for them to raise guidance. Are, are there particular obstacles that you see in the second half of the year that prevents you from being more optimistic when it comes to dialysis? No particular obstacles. Uh, I say we've just been cautious against the backdrop uh, of lingering uncertainty. Just to, to wrap up on dialysis, are you committed to your stake in that subsidiary? Dialysis has been an inner core business of us all along. We're very fond of that uh, over the years, in particular with the transaction in 1996. We have created a world market leader the business uh, is very stable and um, it does make absolutely sense uh, to hold on to our stake.